Welcoming you to the second Sunday of Lent, my brothers and sisters. How has your Lenten journey been so far? I know sometimes challenging, eh? All the fasting, the prayer. But that is just for us to participate in what Jesus went through. So please, I encourage us to keep that spirit of prayer and fasting. Our Lenten retreat is fast approaching. Please remember, it's been on the announcement. The days are still 28th, 29th, and I uh, think the 1st of March. Yes, those three days. We are inviting an outsider, a priest, a priest who is really very gifted, to moderate this retreat for us. So I don't want you to miss this. If I am you, I wouldn't try to miss it at all. So please mark your calendar. It's going to begin at 5.30 p.m. in those three days. It is a time for us to really uh, get into the deep spirit of Lent. And after that, Thursdays after that, the first Thursday of March, which is going to be on the 7th, we will begin our normal weekly Bible study. Again, it's going to be 5.30 to 6.30 every Thursday. You will be tested. Every one of you will. In the first reading of today, the Bible opened up by telling us, God tested Abraham. You will be tested. Yet last week, we spoke about temptation. The devil tempts, but the Lord tests. When the Lord tests, it's actually meant to make us stronger. He will never permit any, tempt any test without giving us the grace. But this test eventually leads to testimony. So many of you already carrying your own tests, your own crosses. As Jesus says, if you want to follow me, carry your cross every day and do so. Do not be afraid when the Lord is testing you. Whatever that test may be in your life now, I want you to carry it with faith. And if he's not yet there, expect one. Because that is the only way we can become strong as Christians. Abraham overcame test. Because even when the Lord made a demand on him, he has already provided a lamb for sacrifice. The Lord will always give you the grace to carry on with the challenges of life. So be firm, be persevering, and be prayerful. You will overcome because Jesus has already won the battle. May the Lord continue to bless us and strengthen us through Christ our Lord. May we now stand and say the Eucharistic Revival Prayer. 